Good morning, people, and welcome to Stinky's Art Class, where we have the best students in the world. Today's lesson is how to draw a volcano. Let's jump right into this. It's an exciting one. And with this lesson class, um, if you're following along draw, drawing with me, I know that expectations are high when you're drawing a volcano, right? And it, it's it's maybe even difficult to get started because expectations are so high. I feel that, I feel the pressure, but it's okay. Um, so the first thing I wanna do on the volcano, we're gonna give it a little room up top for some lava to burst out, but we're gonna start with the lava right here. Let's draw the lava, okay? The lava's coming out. You may be thinking, hey, Stinky, why didn't you draw the volcano first? Well, here's why. Because you don't know what your volcano looks like every time before you start. And sometimes the volcano can change in mid-artistic form, like this one just did. I started drawing that lava and it didn't look too normal, did it? Maybe that wasn't the right method. Maybe the pressure got to Stinky. Do you think that? You think maybe your your teacher, the pressure could get to your teacher? Well, quite, quite possibly. And I think that's may have what happened. I may have started feeling the pressure of this lesson. You know, it's, there's a lot of pressure on volcanoes. I mean, I don't know. Class, I'm just not sure about this volcano. Having to take a step back and look at this. I just, I think I may have uh, moving my canvas. I'm sorry. All right, maybe we do some smoke. I'm going to have to go over the volcano. You know. See what happens when you... It's okay. You know what? I, I took a risk on drawing this without a plan. And, um... You know, it may have backfired on me a little bit, but it's okay. I still think we we got something here. Class, do you believe in me? Do you believe in me we got something here? I mean, it's not too bad, is it? I think more lava. I mean, it kind of looks like rain. What do lava balls look like? like oh, I know. They look like fire. They, they're more like... Is that what they look like? Oh, yeah, that's what they look like. They look like more like fireballs. I should have known that. Okay, class, they're going to look ugly. Because lava is ugly. See these fireballs? Remember the lesson on fire? Is this, is this recoverable? Or is this okay, class? The lava coming out. You know, a lot of my students are great with color. I've seen their work. I've seen the colors you use. And it's it's absolutely amazing. Okay. The students are just absolutely amazing with the the art that I've seen everybody make. I'm really proud of everyone. Okay, this volcano is coming along. I might have to 
rely on the class. What about black lava? Is that what we need to do? Should we just go ahead and take all the risks in the book? Or is it going to look too sloppy? class. I'm, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone class. Sometimes we have to do that in our art. I'm not sure if this is good. I wish I had a red marker. This comfort zone is you like to stay in your comfort zone, I know. You know, I do too. But sometimes things will push you out of your comfort zone like this. This lesson today, like Stinky was like, oh, I'm going to do a volcano. The pressure was, the pressure was on and Stinky started to buckle under the pressure. But did I give up? Did you see Stinky give up? No, I had a few doubts. You know, I started not believe in myself. But I, I kept working. I was like, I'm going to do the best I can. And even if it's, you know, uh, doesn't work out, I'm going to do my best. And you know what? I Now I'm starting to believe in myself again. I'm starting to feel like this is actually a nice little lesson. So we can't ever, you know... There's so many things to unpack in this lesson. And I want you to just think about everything, about how this lesson progressed. I, you know, an amazing lesson. Then the pressure's on. Then I start buckling under pressure. And then I start losing confidence in myself. And then I and then I keep working hard, and I, I don't give up, and then uh, things start turning around. Things start working out. You know, I figure out a few things that I didn't see before, and now and then I, I hit that point where I was about to give up and lose all the hope, and then now I'm. I'm pretty happy with it. Class, have you ever felt that way about your art? I mean, I can't be the only one that's ever gone through those stages. I mean, I know I'm not the most talented guy out there, but I don't give up. Never have, never will. Because we all going to make it. Yeah, I'd like to do some more smoke at the top. But I'd say these fireballs are looking pretty epic. Oh, Stinky just had one idea. One, this has already got to hit the ground. These early fireballs. You know, now it's starting to catch fire down at the bottom. One bad news volcano right there. Okay, class, I'm feeling kind of drained now. A lot of a lot, of, lot to go through in this lesson. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can uh, learn from it and uh, maybe figure out if you're going through some of the thing, same things I went through when I drew my volcano. Um, it wasn't easy, and this lesson is getting real long. So anyone that watched to the end, you get an A plus for today, plus a check mark, plus a plus, plus a... A uh, smiley face, winky, happy face, and a, you know, an ice cream cone check mark. Uh, yeah. All right. Enough goofiness. Time to time to wrap this lesson up. It's almost ten minutes long. All right, class. Thanks for watching along, and I hope you had a great day. And check in for another epic episode of Stinky's Art Class. Thanks. Bye.